What exactly does Futaba have in store for us? I wonder. What's up, everybody? Swagtrain back here for another episode of Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we uh, continued with Confidani and did some hey. stuff. And now Futaba's wake woken up, and I think she has some sort of plan because she was able to hack into the server or something like that. But we don't know what she did. And so we will see what exactly she did in today's episode. But I must confess, I did something stupid. I did not go to Booktown. I did not go to the DVD shop to get a DVD. Why is this a problem, you may ask? We're relegated to the cafe. I thought that today we could still be able to go out, but nope, we are relegated to the cafe. So... I don't have a quick way to boost up my social stats, which I think we've done a pretty good job of building up, but... Ugh. Missed opportunity at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly what this is. I missed an opportunity to get further with guts or kindness, so... I think what I'm going to do today is boost up my knowledge and study, because what else am I going to do? Now listen up. What do you want to do? Also, I just want to get closer to knowledge at this point. Like, I feel like we're getting closer and closer to maxing out knowledge. Can I talk? But mm, I have no idea. So we will study. You're making some good progress. <laughs> I hope so. Because I've been hanging out with the Fumi, oh, okay. reading knowledge books, and now I studied a bit. I know I need max knowledge for Hifumi's confidence. I just want to get knowledge maxed out sooner rather than later. What's this? Are you serious? Can't believe... This is a joke, isn't it? They lost? Hmm. What happened? Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. What's up? Yo. So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. It's the perfect time to slack off. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. I see. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's Here main page go. now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? She did it! Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. We did it! Yeah! <laughs> yes! What are you all smirking about? Oh, nothing. Well, stop it! You're gonna drive away all my customers. After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. <laughs> Ryuji, that's the kind of comment that will kick you. Get a kick, that will kick you right out the cafe. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation too. Oh crap! I just realized our break's almost over. Oh yeah. There are still ten days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me, too. Like that research. Oh, uh, the cognitive science research. Yeah. Oh, did you just get up? And look who shows up. Good morning. <gasps> Uh-oh. She's still kind of nervous around everyone. It seems she's cautious of us. Like Joker's her protective shield now. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Yeah, fair point. I think more people would be not so good news. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. 
The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> Ooh, Sojuro does not seem to like Shido. Hmm, I wonder why. What do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This mm. politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. Well, you were listening, but you could pretty much give two shits about what he was saying. Meanwhile, in the not-so-distant future... So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? Yes, ma'am. This ma does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. She was killed. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other metaverse user that Madarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. Okay. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Okay. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? Um... Well, the real criminal is the best answer. How self-centered of you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. So, I feel like my bond with Sai is going deeper. We're rank three now. So, good progress. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. Oh, no! <laughs> Not this palace. Oh, no. Uh, I did not like this palace in the first game. I hope it's better. Uh, the guy, this is where the story just takes a turn for the worst. <sighs> oh boy. Oh god, I gotta brace myself. Because this is gonna be one bumpy ride. You should know who he is, considering what happened. This is gonna be one bumpy ride. Good lord. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Oh, I know why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? <sighs> you will see my problems with this entire arc as this part of the story progresses. You will see all the problems I have with it. Okumura's palace, to me, is overall the worst palace in the entire game. Not just because of what happens in the palace, but the buildup to said palace. It is bumpy. I am not gonna enjoy this. To think 
The cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. I thought the other people were just victims. Like the slaves of the castle or the walking ATMs. Mm -hmm. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have mm -hmm. loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? Mm-hmm. If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering mm. the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? Yeah, those adults. If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? <laughs> Dips. She is quite difficult. She's a project. That's the, that's the best way to put it. Futaba is going to be a project. Back she comes with yakisoba. Smell. Come on, no fair. Hey, can I snag a bite? <laughs> Meanie. You're like, excuse you? Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. Alright. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. Mm. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Wait, what? Huh? Wait, huh? Huh? Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first. Back when I was referred to as the hacker of justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. Mm. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. Yep. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Oh, uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak ass dipshits? Sounds about right. You should have told us from the start, Futaba. <laughs> I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Oh, there you go. Futaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Yeah, that probably be for the best. That probably would be for the best. Okay. That was quick. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. And this is where the bumps begin. Well, I guess. And all my problems with the build-up to the next battles all surround this cat. Ooh, boy. Now I'm gonna have to strap myself in here. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Oh, there's no denying that. She is probably your most useful party member. Especially once hey, we start Futaba, her social link. How did you find out about us? Like, once we start Futaba's social link, she becomes one of the most useful party members, if not the most useful party member, not named Joker. Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? You should stop asking these questions, Queenie. She has refused to answer the previous two. I refuse to answer. <laughs> Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? Well, let's get to know her. How? First... We'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her, maybe she'll get more used to being around us. 
That's not a bad method. I see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach. There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. I get you, Reggie, but personally, I am not a fan of the beach. Personally. That's just me. Uh, beach is just a no-no. I'm totally down with the pool, but... I don't know why. I've just never been a fan of the beach. That's a great idea. I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. And everyone's just making plans. If Utaba's like, wait, hold on. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else depending on when they're free. Okay. Can I really do this? Good luck. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. Good lord, Akechi. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Mejed was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. Manipulation? It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. Uh, huh? It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Hmm. 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 Hey, I heard some people talking about us on the train home. They were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. I've heard things too. It's becoming a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from a measured attack would have been massive. It's no surprise they revere us for preventing it. It was close though. Yeah, it was really all thanks to Alibaba. You were a great help. It was nothing. It reminds me. Remember that stuff about ATMs and banks just stopping? That wasn't Medjed, was it? Nope. That was totally separate. So people were overreacting to mere coincidence? Either that or those rumors were never true to begin with. Hmm. You seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. Is that so? I'll shut up then. Huh? <laughs> I don't think I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. You gotta apologize, Yusuke. Me? Why? Hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. Ah, oh, things will be fine. We just gotta train Futaba. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We will be training Futaba. Why is he, of all people, getting excited about this? Well, the news really Let did draw be. a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. So we will be training Futaba basically this entire week, but this isn't a bad thing at all. Because we still get to go out at night. So during the day, you are you won't be able to do anything during the day. But you're still going to be able to do whatever you want at night. I'm still somewhat close to improving my knowledge. This is frustrating. Um, let's go to Central Street. And let's see what's at the bookstores. What can I get you? Uh, fish pond spotter. Okay, nothing new. Uh, what about here? What would you like? Housewife. Huh. Learn learn about leading a charmed life. I'm Maverick Rodent. Medicine. Kindness. Guts. Um, proficiency. I think I'll take guts. 
I need more gut stuff. I missed an opportunity um, yesterday. Let's go to Shibocho. And get a guts book. Because I How think there's a I guts book you? up here. Yep. I will take that. Yeah. And let's go to the red light district. Because I think we can continue with Sojo's Confidant now that the story's progressed. Right? We can. We, since we can continue with Sojo's Confidant, let's get our fate reading. I'm going to shrivel up. What shall we do? I have my fortune red. I have a whole bunch of money to spare, so this is perfectly fine. And I want to increase my kindness. The higher fan card. There we go. What do you think? Cool beans, thanks. Now let's go to LeBlanc. And here, we'll talk with Sojiro. If you have time, can you help me prepare dinner? Ooh, I don't have a Hierophant persona, now do I? Next time then. I don't have a Hierophant persona. Fuck! I thought I did. But I don't. I don't. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I can get rid of the chariot, though. We don't need a chariot. Because we've maxed out Ryuji's confidence, so... Let's go in here. Let's go in here and pick up the Hierophant. These are the paths you have walked. And I do need to fuse some more at some point. I think I may do that on my own time, though. This a fee is required. Then accept this persona. Are you this finished? Me? What? No slacking off. Really? All right. Now that I have that with me, let's get back to the cafe. All right, and we will help you out. All right then. Futaba's coming to eat today too. I'll get the curry ready. I'm leaving the coffee to you. Mm -hmm. I'm wicked full. How was the curry, Futaba? Delicious! I'm gonna be dreaming of that stuff tonight. Um, did it taste the same as you remember it? Yep. I feel like a dummy for not wanting to eat it back when I was depressed about my mom. Oh, that's right. The first episode of this brand new anime I want to watch is airing out tonight. I'm out of here. Eyes up front when you walk, okay? No spacing out. You ran head first into a pole last time you went for a walk. Well, you stubbed your toe on a dresser the other day. Crap, it's gonna start. Make like make like a leaf and uh, eh, screw it. Bye! She's all over the place. <laughs> she thought it was delicious. Then what about you? I think I'm addicted! Really? I guess you have a pretty good taste if you can truly understand how incredible that curry is. Now then, something I should probably tell you. Take a seat. I'll pour you some coffee. Yeah. Remember how I said the recipe for the, this curry was developed by a scientific genius? You might have realized it by now, but that genius was Futaba's mom. Wakaba. In other words, that curry is one of the last remaining connections Futaba has to her mom. I first met Wakaba back when I was doing work for the government. She was in real trouble, let me tell you. Logic prevailed over emotion for her, and she had an intricate knowledge of the human mind. I thought my pickup lines were the best in town, but not a single one worked on her. <laughs> so that's why you're a bachelor? <laughs> nah. Was she like Futaba? You could say that. It was never clear what she was thinking, so I had a hard time trying to keep to keep up with her. Men are idiots, though. We spend our time chasing after things we can't get. Walk up and reject me time and time again. But there was one instance I managed to surprise her. And that was when I gave her a plate of my homemade curry. The next day, she came asking all about the ingredients and what goes into the cooking process. 
Then, just a few days later, she handed me a scientifically enhanced version of my recipe. It was incredible. She used my curry as the basis, but it was miles better than anything I made. Curry was Wakaba's specialty from then on. Naturally, Futaba grew to love it in no time as well. But then after Wakaba's accident, Futaba stopped eating it entirely. The flavor would make her remember the pain. I've heard even smells can bring bad memories too. But that curry was the only point of connection I have with Futaba. That's why when I took her in, I vowed to keep this recipe alive until she could eat it again. Paid off, didn't it? Yeah. F felt like a huge weight was left off my shoulders when she said it was delicious. The whole idea of pairing curry with a nice brew is thanks to Wakaba's refinement too. Despite how introverted she seemed, she was extraordinarily perceptive of the people around her. I never even told her about my love for coffee. She figured it out just from looking at me. <laughs> That's when I realized she was totally out of my league. Not like I stood her chance to begin with though. She already had Futaba by then after all. This might seem like any old curry to most people, but there's tons of emotions crammed inside. So uh, make sure you keep the tradition going. Oh, will do. Will do, sir. All right. <laughs> All right. That's enough for this for tonight. Things are getting downright sappy in here. Futaba's waiting for me at home too, so I should probably be heading back. The rest is on you. Make sure you clean up before you go to bed. Kindness going. My kindness growing. Here we go. Hey, it's me. Finish cleaning up. Futaba's still watching anime. As long as she's in a good mood, though, I don't mind it. Seeing her so happy makes me glad that I kept Wakaba's curry alive. It's only a problem when she asks for it three times a day. <laughs> Girlfriend needs a balanced diet. That's exactly my problem. <laughs> Futaba's still growing. I gotta be strict with her. She needs to eat balanced meals so she gets vitamins that curry can't give her. But man, that expression on Futaba's face when she took a bite of that curry? Eh, forget it. Maybe I'll have to stick with curry as the staple, but I could sneak, sneak in some veggies here and there. Guess cooking really can be a labor of love. Ah, crap. I talk too much. <laughs> See you later, I guess. Master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, mm. that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. Who stole the research, though, is the million dollar <laughs> question. Allow me to grant you a new power worthy of your current self. Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down, otherwise you may get swept off your feet. Alright. Thanks, Seven. Alright. There we go. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. Alright. the Phantom Thieves would pull through. Can you believe they actually took down hackers? It's cool how they don't reveal what they're doing. Who's that guy that was criticizing them? Akechi? It's pretty lame just to criticize without doing anything yourself. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 
Makoto and Yusuke are scheduled for the day, huh? What happened to them? Futaba, can you open up? Open what? The front door. <laughs> the front door. Well, why? Won't you come too, Shadow? We're in front of Futaba's house. You want to be here? And not at LeBlanc? Isn't that more comforting? Y y you never mentioned this! It would be nice if you could hurry down soon. It's scorching hot out here. You, you demon! <laughs> um... Looks like we're meeting up immediately over at Futaba's. Makoto's really going about this seriously. <laughs> yeah, she is, isn't she? Oh god. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> A mask? <laughs> Good lord. Don't worry about it. Such avant-garde design. You have excellent taste. Good lord, Yusuke. <laughs> Good god. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> the masks, though. Uh-oh. What do you plan on doing? I'd like to simply have a normal conversation. That is the basis of true communication, after all. Is that gonna be enough, though? I have my doubts. I thought it would be best to start off just by learning some more about each other. Don't think too hard about our conversation. We're just going to talk about ordinary topics today. And what do you mean by ordinary topics? You know, things like food or the weather. Okay. Well then, let's begin with food. What do you like to eat, Futaba? Organic ones. That's a start, I guess. Um, that wasn't exactly what I meant. <laughs> it's a start, though. Uh, let's try a different topic. How about the weather? She is getting flustered. <laughs> Good lord, Makoto. That this heat wave is showing no sign of stopping. Dunno, I haven't been out. Fair. Oh. Right. <laughs> Makoto's getting overwhelmed. No kidding, Mona. Th this is odd. It, it wasn't supposed to go like this. Well, this is how it's going. By the way, Yusuke, what have you been doing this whole time? Oh, superb. <laughs> oh no! Some of their heads came off when I was moving them, but I made sure to rearrange them pleasingly. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yusuke! <laughs> my children! What have you done to my children? Oh god. They appear to be quite shoddily made. Damn. They're from Phoenix Rangers Neo Featherman! What is that an anime? No, yellow and pink's ahead. Is this supposed to be like a, their version of Power Rangers or something? This is all Inari's fault. Inari? Inari? Oh boy, here we go. You know, Inari sushi? The tofu things foxes eat in the old stories? What kind of fox doesn't know that? Inari. Oh boy. Oh, uh, they were in the perfect poses too. It was so much work getting them set up just right. Uh, you wouldn't know aesthetics if it hit you in the face, Inari. Of all people you say that to! <laughs> of all people you say that to! You say that to Yusuke! <laughs> oh god. Uh, how dare you say that to me! Of all people! <laughs> yeah, seriously. Of all people, <laughs> you say that to Yusuke. But I ship those two. I ship. Sheesh, that's not a conversation anymore. It's a full-blown argument. I ship those two. <laughs> yeah. I ship those two, though. Real talk. I see. So their versatility allows you to recreate almost any dramatic scene you can imagine. Hmm. No, but real talk, though. Basically, the relationship you and Futaba have is very similar to the one Ryuji has with Han. Where, yeah, they're friends, but they bicker constantly. Although, their bickering is a lot more amusing. I ship these two because of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Victory is great for action, and Neo's got the best transforming suit. So cool. Fascinating. Art depicts a flash of inspiration, but models offer a much different means of enjoyment. Huh? Take a look at that. Futaba's having a regular conversation. 
It seems she doesn't have a problem talking to others as long as the subject interests her. I yep. suppose the topics I brought up were not the right ones. They weren't. So this is all I gotta do? What a breeze! In that case, we should advance to the next step. How about we have her spend time in someone else's room? AKA my room, because there's no way in hell you're going anywhere else, right? <laughs> yes. She hasn't had many chances to leave the house yet, so that would be the perfect opportunity. Don't set the bar so high! <laughs> well, I'll be there too. Well, I guess in that case... I've left Tamara to An and Ryuji. Oh god. He'll be there as well, so you'll be okay. Oh god. Am I gonna have to be the one to keep those two blondes in check again? Can I wear my mask? Oh, please do. I would love to see that again. I think it would be best if you didn't. There's really no telling how tomorrow's going to go. Oh god. It's gonna be noisy. That's all I can say. Not bad for her first time. She's still got a long way to go though. Wonder how long before she's ready for the beach. Dude, people are so pumped. They're, they're talking all about how the Thanates took down Medjad. Mishima's website has a shit ton of comments flooding in too. News coverage has been pretty insane as well. Yes, they have only spoken of the Thanates for the entirety of the day. We've been ga getting attention all over the city. So, how's the one who helped us take down Medjad doing? Futaba-chan! My phoenix trainers almost met their demise. Oh god. Yusuke! <laughs> What's Yusuke? Let me just talk. Anyways, things didn't go perfectly, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Tomorrow's goal will be to spend time in someone else's room. Futaba is a difficult personality to handle. <laughs> Good luck, you two. Shut it, Inari! All right, it's our turn next. See you tomorrow, Futaba. Oh no. Lady On and Ryuji teaming up honestly worries me, but I guess we'll see what they can do. Oh God, it's gonna be a mess. It will be a fucking hey. mess, and we'll see what they do last time as I take one more seat on the toilet to figure out where I am on social stats, because I seem to be doing that every day out of habit at this point. But next time on Persona 5 Royal, we will continue with training with Futaba, and we'll see what On and Ryuji cook up. See you then.